Hello, my friends. It's wonderful to be in the land of the living. Today, I would like to share with you how I came to know Jesus Christ as my personal Savior. I was raised in a Christian home by my aunt. She was very stern. I had to go to church memorize scriptures whether I want to or not. I also attended a Christian school. The principal was rigid. She made me stay after school to help her with her housework. My aunt thought that was fine because they were friends. As I moved into my teens, the pressure from both sides got worse. I had a difficult time coping, so I decided to leave home. After I left home, I felt great to be free from all that stress. As the journey of my life continued, I started to face different challenges. As soon as I came out of one situation, another difficult situation arised. I became drained mentally and physically. The turning point came November 26, 1979. I woke up with terrible chest pain. I was terrified of dying. Then I heard a voice saying, you're going to die and go to hell. When I heard those words, I picked up a pocket Bible a friend had given to me. I opened it and it opened to Psalm 139. I started to read and as soon as I start reading, the pain subsided. I continue to read. Verse 9 says, If I take the wings of the morning and fly to the uttermost part of the sea, even there my hand will guide you and my right hand will hold you. I was deeply touched, so I continued to read. Verse 18 said, If I should count the numbers of my sins, they are more than the sand upon the seashore. When I read those words, I was convicted. I said, God, my sins are more than the sands upon the seashore. I got down on my knees and I said, Jesus, forgive me of my sins. Come into my heart and be the Lord of my life. Later that morning, I called the pastor and I asked him if he could baptize me. He said, when did you decide to do that? I said, that morning. He said to me, we're going to have a baptism next Sunday, but you will have to attend a week of instruction classes. I was so excited to have a relationship with Jesus. So I attended all the classes. On December 4th, I was baptized in water and started my journey with the Lord. Five years later, it suddenly dawned on me that the words that I read in Psalm 139 and verse 18 is not there. 
I believe God read those words to me. He knows how to bring us to himself. Since I start serving the Lord, my life has not been a bed of roses. There has been ups and downs. But today, I can join with the songwriter and say, I have anchored my soul in the heaven of rest. And I'll sail that wild sea no more. My friends, regardless of what you're going through, the option for giving up will not change the situation. Trust God to bring you through those difficulties. Jeremiah chapter 29 and verse 11 says, I know my plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future and to bring you to that expected end. God knows how to bring you to that place of victory. Trust him. Allow him to turn your situation around for good. God bless you, my friends. And I trust that all your needs will be met according to his riches and glory. Through Christ Jesus. Amen. Bye for now.